Cleary here on this episode of Machining 101. You're going to learn about speeds and feeds on how to apply a gearing drill at lightning speeds. Here with Kenny Partnin. How you doing? How are you? I'm doing well. He's going to be the maestro that makes this machine sing. So I want to ask you, what is speeds and feeds? Speeds and feeds are how quickly the spindle is going to spin and how hard the machine is going to push that tool into the material. So they both need to be correct in order to be successful in cutting metal. So there's a wide variety of different speeds and feeds that I can pick. How do I know that I'm picking the right speeds and feeds for my tool? So you should definitely start with your manufacturing rep. They are going to give you a great starting point. Every manufacturer of every tool that you have in your shop has a recommendation and a chart with a range of speeds and feeds that that tool is known to be successful cutting a particular material. As you cut the specific material, who's the rep that you work with locally? I work with Jason Edwards. Jason came, Edwards. Jason Edwards from Gurring came in here. Did you say Gurring? Woo! I did! You showed up at the right time because we're talking about speeds and feeds of your drill. Right. So on this machine, I'm trying to learn speeds and feeds and I realize that you have one of the fastest tools out there. Can you tell us how you came up with that solution for this machine? Well, we know that the material is 1018 steel, so that's going to be an alloy heat treatable steel in our catalog. So we're going to go on the conservative side at 335 surface foot, and we know that the, the, the drill is 11.5 millimeters, so that's close to half inch. So we'll start at 12 and a half thousandths as a starting cutting parameter. So some some machine controls use surface footage and inches per revolution. Some controls use RPM and inches per minute. So depending on control, you can use the equation at the top of our catalog to convert if needed. That's pretty nifty. Well, thanks for swinging by and helping with our Machining 101. What is Speeds and Feeds on our Doosan Puma? Spearing's always happy to help. We got these awesome solid carbide cooling through drills in here, and we are pushing them harder than we push any other drill on the shop. And what's the results? The results are amazing chips, great tool life, pretty parts, and reliable production for this job that runs lights out overnight. So lights out, runs overnight. I want to see this. Can you show me what speeds and feeds you're running this baby at? Absolutely. So we're spinning at 2850 RPM, which when you calculate it out, is 350 SFM. So 350 SFM. Hold on, partner. You're throwing a whole bunch of three-letter acronyms at me. I am. So you have SFM, RPM. How do I know the difference between the two? So RPM is revolutions per minute. You see RPM in cars and engines and stuff like that. That is actually the speed of how many revolutions per minute your chuck, which contains my part, is going to be spinning in a minute. Uh, so it's kind of like when I put 26-inch rims on my Hyundai Sonata and then it messed up my odometer? It's exactly what happens. Ah. Yes. So your RPM is a direct uh, output of how fast that part is going to be spinning. So I understand the speed a little bit now. You walk me through what feed means. So feed is the rate at which we push that drill into the material as it's rotating. So on a lathe, you'll typically see that with an F and a small number. This looks like 16 thousandths. So that's 16 thousandths per revolution. So we worked up RPM, revolutions per minute, 2850. So as that's rotating, every revolution of that spindle, the turret is going to advance that drill in 16,000. So in theory, before we hit the rock and roll button on this, hit start, I can know how fast I'm going to make that hole? Yes, you can calculate how long it would take to theoretically drill that hole. So just to wrap my brain around this one last time, so if it's at 2,850 rotations per minute, and then the feed is at 16 thou, so meaning it's going to feed that in for every one of those revolutions. Correct. So if I times that by that, that's how long it would take for me to make that part? That is correct. Ah, easy enough. So. Let's see this thing in action, man. Double tap. That's rule number one in Zombieland. Ah. Open the door. It's done? 
It's done. That's fast. So you made that hole in about like a second. It was very fast. The gearing drill combined with the power of this deuce on lathe, you're able to make that hole that fast? It was more than twice as fast as the way we used to run, yes. So you're saying it's worth it and it paid for itself almost immediately? It pays for itself very quickly. How's that for a value add? Hey boss, is this that left-handed hammer you keep telling me to find? Yeah, but it looks like it's for Super Smash Brothers. It's in my right hand. It must be the wrong one. Go keep looking. FNG. Are you the FNG in the shop? The fancy new guy? Well, I am too. Follow my journey and watch Machining 101, where Kenny teaches me everything I need to know about machining and manufacturing. Visit us at thepeoplemanufacturing.com for all you FNGs out there. This episode of the Machining 101 was brought to you by Sunny's The Car Wash Factory. Sunny's is the largest conveyorized car wash manufacturer in the world. For more information, visit sunnysdirect.com. Thank you, Kenny. On this lesson of Machining 101, we learned about speeds and feeds.